Boris Johnson is facing pressure to impose a national lockdown as dozens of countries banned UK arrivals to keep out a new fast-spreading variant of COVID. Tougher coronavirus restrictions will be needed across the country, with cases of the mutant coronavirus strain appearing everywhere, the government's chief scientific advisor has warned. The Tier 4 lockdown was announced for London and parts of southern and eastern England at the weekend after existing Tier 3 measures provided proved unable to control the spread of the more infectious variant. Sir Patrick indicated a lockdown may be needed in wider areas of England, particularly as Christmas mixing may result in an increased spread of cases. The Prime Minister is reportedly planning to mass test lorry drivers to end the chaos at Dover. Ministers are preparing infrastructure to allow thousands of truck drivers to be tested before crossing the English Channel, the Telegraph reports. France announced a ban on hauliers taking freight across the Channel on Sunday night over fears around the spread of a new, more infectious strain of coronavirus. Backpacker Grace Millane's killer has been convicted of sex attacks on two other women, including the rape of another British tourist, it can be revealed. Jesse Kempson can now be named after a court order banning his identification was lifted on Tuesday. He was jailed for a minimum of 17 years in February for murdering Ms Millane in his hotel room in Auckland, New Zealand in December 2018. Last Friday, the 28-year-old's appeal against his conviction and sentence for the murder of Ms Millane from Wickford, Essex was dismissed. It has now been revealed that he was convicted of sex attacks on two more women. Royal Mail has suspended deliveries to mainland Europe amid transport restrictions due to the mutant coronavirus strain. The company said it was experiencing delays to Canada and Turkey, both of which were listed as part of its on-suspension list. Joe Biden has received his first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine on live television in a drive to convince the American public the inoculations are safe. The president-elect took a dose of the Pfizer vaccine at a hospital not far from his Delaware home, hours after his wife Jill Biden did the same. The injections came the day that a second vaccine produced by Moderna will start arriving stateside. And finally, Jupiter and Saturn have appeared closer to each other in the night sky than they have in 800 years in a celestial event astronomers call the Great Conjunction. The last time the two planets appeared this close and formed like this was in 1623. The largest planets in the solar system have been slowly getting closer in the sky since the summer and appeared like a double planet system. Coinciding with the winter solstice, the conjunction could be viewed by eye from anywhere on Earth last night. The planets looked around a fifth of a full moon's width apart and appeared low above the horizon. For the Evening Standard, I'm Joe Yule.